Hi, in this video we are going to introduce more mouse events. So last video we introduced the mouse click method and we could use a callback function to respond when the user clicked, but there's many more mouse functions that we can use. So there's the mouse move method, uh, so we can respond when the user moves their mouse. The mouse down method, so we can do something when the user presses the mouse down. The mouse up method, so we can do something when the user releases the mouse and the mouse drag method so we can do something as long as the user is dragging. So let's go into our code editor and use some of these functions. Okay, so what I'm going to do is use the mouse move method to create a very very simple painting program. So I'll say mouse move method and then every time um, the mouse is moved I want to call the function paint. So I'll make a function called paint. It'll take an event called E. And so to paint, all I'm going to do is just draw a circle at the current location. So I'll say var circle equals new circle, maybe radius 15, circle.set position, e.getx, e.gety. And now I'll add the circle. And so before I run this, what this program should do is every time the mouse is moved, call the paint function and the paint function just draws a circle wherever the mouse is. So let's run this program. So there you go, as I move the mouse uh, circles are drawn. So this looks kind of like a painting program. Um, to make this a bit more interesting we can use our favorite function the randomizer. So we'll say circle.setColor randomizer.nextColor Okay, so now when I run, we get this really interesting series of colors. So right now this is happening as long as I move. But what you might want to do is you might want to have them only draw as long as they're dragging. So if I change this to mouse drag method and run this, you see that nothing happens when I move, but when I click down and drag, I get this interesting series of colors. So this is an introduction to some more mouse methods that we can use.